my project for the summer well this coming weekend probably is to work on our ugly deck so this is our deck and I am going to rip it apart and I'm tired of painting it for every two and a half years and what have you because it's a lot of work so I'm gonna change it with a composite material and I don't have to deal with this every second third year scraping the old paint and and restaining it yeah it's a very cozy place but like I said a lot of maintenance so we got two levels two steps here going up on the second level uh, I built this one I built that one too I built the bench so that will stay as within we're gonna have to restain that yeah so more to come so part of uh, redoing your deck is so you have to know pretty much the primary components to uh, your deck so you have your um, essentially you have your planks where you lay all this stuff and mix the sub the floor and underneath that you've got what you call the joists and that is actually supported by your posts which is right here I have a six by six post here and I'll show you underneath what makes the whole assembly part of my mess here at the back but that's kind of like how it looks so this is called a joist and I've got an array of joists there and they're basically spaced out 16 inches center and uh, that's important and key so that you know where your studs are when you start to lay your planks so that and the joist and this is uh, the finishing touch which is what you call a, a fascia yeah so I've ordered the materials already Tina and I went to Home Depot and uh, took a long time to decide what color and what shape and budget and things like that but we arrived at a conclusion so it's in order it is arriving this weekend so I'm gonna start ripping things apart by taking the handrails maybe flimsy that one and two fascias and uh, so that I could prepare what more would I would be needing before I lay out the, the new floor <laughs> and just started to rip up the uh, handrail of the deck and uh, just gonna plug away set up my tools I got my miter saw here which I had in my garage for probably five years and haven't been used for a while and that will be used to cut off the ends of my floorboards and also the picture frame okay it stopped raining uh, start to have blue skies again right there which is great so started working again and I stripped out the stair uh, stairway down to the ground here found the joist over here it's almost wet so that means water seeping in and that's a possibility for rotting so taking out the, the planks of deck renovation try to finish this uh, just this weekend but the, the weather was just so terrible uh, Saturday, Sunday kept raining and uh, took the day off on Monday, but it was still nasty. But so far, I have been able to rip out all the floor. So that's going to be a lot of firewood for my buddies, my friends, 
materials that I have here composite decking material which is very very nice uh, made by uh, it's called Veranda Elite and available at your local Home Depot store so so far this is what I've done um, I've laid out the planks uh, for the staircase I have to do some readjustments because it was not level at all from the previous step and now I'm just going to finish this side here with the fascia so that's all tucked away and clean then the side here with the fascia also I have a little bit of piece here to cover so that's all uniform in color I've done the uh, picture framing um, on the perimeter border and laid out the planks with the spacers that's actually included with the with the wood as you uh, lay them out so it's spaced out quite evenly yeah so I'm here right now and this is what the spacers look like comes with a screw and that piece of plastic there what you do you just put it in here and fasten it onto your joist and then now that's all fastened right there and now I'm ready to put the next plank which will be this one I've already cut it to length just to make, to make sure it lands at the very end there and to the end there Well, it's day three of my project here to uh, redo my deck as I've done uh, the first two days of uh, ripping and prepping and fighting the rain and the weather and laying out the uh, the uh, first level floor and that's done now. I just need to finish putting the toe kicks uh, fascia and that should be all finished. We have the handrail ordered that's coming in next week so I'll have to finish that and show you again but today I'm gonna to be working on the stairway onto the second level so I can finish the second level but I ran into a problem so as this is a pre-existing deck I didn't have to build it right from scratch I had to tear apart all the um, the flooring and I'm leaving the joist and the framing uh, trusting that it was all square but what happened is I've nicely laid out all the hardwood floor with all the lines there the stairwell here seemingly is not straight so it starts from here uh, at about three and a quarter inch spacing from there to there to here this is about three this is about two and three quarters two and three quarters two and three quarters this is even worse this is two and a half and back to three there at the end so I can't just do that because what happens if I finish the flooring here I'll have basically a gap going from here to there and it's gonna taper up at the end there it's gonna be looking ugly so trying to find out what the problem was and what I found out is my toe kick here which is the uh, Two by six where my stairwell is bolted on is not um, straight I'll show you I don't know if you can see it here but underneath you could probably see this piece of wood here my two by six which is going on to the edge there is bent and not straight that's where my problem is that bow right there 
is approximately about two inches pushing the middle uh, steps inside right there you can see so what I'm gonna do so I've got my motorcycle jack right here I'm gonna put it here in between here jack it up bump it up try to push this inside to give me the spacing that I want and that should all level out and I should be on my way to finishing the, the stairway well after making the correction I'm much happier with the results um, so like I said I uh, shimmed it with my motorcycle jock here there you go added some braces on it like two by eight braces so it won't come back so that's sturdy now I put the uh, stairwell now and right now it's measuring at about just three past three inches and that's all well so that should be fine now well story of my life found another problem here so I'm just about ready to put the fascia for my uh, stairwell here for my second uh, floor as you can see I'm prepping it up I'm trying to put the fascia up here and put the planks here put my uh, picture frame this is a picture frame if you just don't know that's kind of like the frame so I'm gonna be doing the same thing here on the second floor but as I was prepping that I just noticed underneath this deck here where the joists are supposed to be sitting on posts uh, butted into the um, what you call this here um, the joist that's a uh, hanger to the, to, the, to the house this particular thing here is not seated on top see that now that's a structural problem that's a big deal and I'll show what the problem is. So if you see the joist from the hanger to the joist, it's all suspended up. This thing is sagged down and it gets worse as I go to the end. This is at least an inch, an inch, an inch and a half, two inch, and three. So the whole deck is actually sitting on the frame bolted into the house here, the hanger in the house. And from what I can see here, the guys that made this before already had jacked it up. You can see there's a piece of 4x4 four four here. Uh, and this is a 6x6 a six six post. So the guy that did this is an idiot. He didn't really, if you can see, it's partially, well, it's, you know, it basically supported it the whole time we've been here for seven years this house was built in 2007 so they've seen this problem before they jacked it up and uh, for some reason it sagged again of course the ground it erodes by time so we're gonna do we're gonna jack it again put proper support in here so you can have that whole block in there well I've got it all jacked up uh, and shimmed up properly so look how thick that was you needed basically a piece of 2x6 and a 4x1 uh, and 3 quarter so that's fixed now well gorgeous Saturday long weekend back to building the deck and I've got myself new hired painters there you go say hi guys hello oh some enthusiasm right there <laughs> they're doing a great job here with painting we decided to leave the wood uh, part of it which is the privacy wall and uh, we just bought some paint yesterday and uh, color match the the darker shade of the the deck. I think it's gonna look gorgeous. 
guys are doing awesome. Yeah, so back to building the deck here. So finish the stairway, I'm very happy with it, with all the results you can see. That's nicely <laughs> even now. And starting to do the framing for the second level. My first plank here and then second one. And then all the way through there, that's going to whip through pretty quick. And hopefully I could be finished by tomorrow for sure. Because I want to enjoy one day of the long weekend and just maybe put the furniture back in. Have some pretty awesome time here around. It's going to be sunny. Maybe some bike riding tomorrow too. Bye. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Getting there. Got my borders done here. Gonna start laying down the, the planks on the second floor, and I think I'll be finished here pretty soon. And what a way to actually take a break! Look at what we have. Cool. Let's try this. Here's a pretty awesome meal. I can't even make that. So, what do you call this brand? This is like Mediterranean pesto toast, and then this for you guys is like a fruit salad with. Spinach, all the berries, walnuts, and feta. Wow, just for this muscle right here. <clears throat> um, so it's Sunday today at about 12.30. And last night I was able to um, layer a whole bunch of planks on my second level which is not uh, bolted yet so today I'm going to be cutting that to uh, length and screwing it on and it should be all finished uh, anticipating maybe about two hours work and I'll be finished on that so here's how it looks still my tools are still here but the ladies are done doing the staining of the first uh, privacy wall uh, and then onto that. So this is what I've accomplished so far yesterday. Finished the stair rail, uh, the stairs, and then the framing. And then uh, I've managed to put a couple of planks here. Like I said, they're not cut yet to length. Just like this one here. I finished on the fourth plank. And I'll be doing the rest of them today. finished so far for what I can on the deck just waiting for the railing so I could uh, put the fish on the st stair steps on the main level here which is this one um, I can't finish it because the railings will have to go here uh, or somewhere here uh, depends uh, it's structural so I'm gonna have to take that out again with the support system so that post is sturdy a 454 post with a with the sleeve and one over here so I'll have to take that off it's gonna be another post here and the end of the rail will attach to that six by six so, so it should be probably another three hours of work and here's how the whole floor looks Look at what we have again gorgeous gorgeous dinner prepared by my daughter and can you care to say what is that? Grilled skewers, mushrooms, zucchini, peppers, onions. We got corn on the cob and sauteed green beans with some onions. So vegetable kebab is that what she called it. And I've got an extra chicken here, but that's not for me. That's for this boy right here. Hey, honey.